In UCL Mechanical Engineering, we do all sorts of things that tend to solve the problems that face people in their day-to-day -day life. We're looking into new ways of generating energy. We're looking into how ships are designed and ways to make them more efficient. We do things like uh, stem cells and tissue engineering. We do the mechanical ma manipulation of those. Biomedical applications, so for example, how we can use bubbles to help doctors. Huge variety of stuff is going on here. I work on uh, the fluid mechanics, the hemodynamics of cerebral aneurysms and devices that uh, medical doctors use in order to treat those aneurysms. I work mostly on mathematical modelling of biological phenomena, so that covers a whole range of different problems, but at the moment I'm focusing on nerve regeneration problems and also blood flow. Well, I've got two fields of research at the moment. The first is low carbon shipping and the second is autonomous Marine craft. We actually build tissues, functional three-dimensional tissues that are applicable to uh, uh, doing a whole host of things both in, both in the laboratory and clinic for repairing, rejuvenating and repairing damaged and diseased uh, tissues. I'm a physicist but I study bubbles in the ocean so it's my job to work out how many bubbles there are in the ocean, how big they are and what their contribution is to how the ocean breathes. I'm very interested in how we can better design uh, future fuels from sustainable sources such as microalgae to be more efficient in the way that they combust in an engine and also produce lower levels of regulated pollutants such as soot and nitrogen oxides which are both very bad for human health and adversely affect our environment. And my research is on computational biomedicine. So we apply mechanical engineering principles and something that goes a little bit beyond that to understand uh, disease and health for individual patients. I use mathematical modelling um, and signals processing to identify the problems that are going on with the heart and I can relate that to engineering systems where problems with feedback can cause instability. So using those techniques and using measurements from the heart I can understand how the heart's going wrong. We are looking at flows at very small scale. So think of tiny drops and how they interact with different surfaces and so on because looking at that and understanding is fundamental can lead to uh, lots of fascinating applications. So I'm using optical diagnostic techniques to study how things flow and at the moment I'm researching microhemodynamics. In other words, how red blood cells flow in small vessels, the smallest uh, blood vessels in our bodies. One of the projects I'm working on is called wearable assistive material and what we're doing is we're creating an exoskeleton for people which you wear underneath your skin like a fabric. It looks a bit like this so this is a 3D printed material, it's very flexible and it's designed to help people walk or if they're, if they're injured so they have trouble moving their arm, they might be paralysed. You wear it under your clothes, it exactly fits you because you can 3D print things to exactly fit people. It includes actuators and electronics and the actuators stiffen the material to support movement to allow you to move your arm and then they relax the material when you need flexibility. I'm looking into human heart and cardiovascular system, one of the most sophisticated machines in the world. My research area is material science and engineering with special emphasis on biomaterials and I invent processes and devices to manufacture new forms of material. We exploit modern computer-aided ship design, particularly computer graphics, to do representations of ships in order to build up the, the ship from its inside out and that is a radical departure from the traditional way in which ships have been designed. What we now do is we focus on the interior of the ship. We treat it as a piece of architecture as well as a piece of engineering and that's what makes our research particularly interesting. Mechanical engineering is about understanding how things work at a real fundamental level. And if you've got that skill as a mechanical engineer, then you can use it to solve all sorts of problems that we face all about our daily life. The understanding that we have from classical mechanical engineering is converted or translated to understanding uh, biomedical sciences. An example, when you look at the engine uh, case and the nozzle that brings the fuel, the injector that brings the fuel in the engine, and the bubbles that are generated there, this is a detrimental effect. You want to eliminate that. But at the same time, the knowledge that you generate allows you to take that concept of collapsing bubbles, translate it to a completely different field, like lithotripsy, where you destroy, you break up kidney stones and benefit humans. 
the best thing about mechanical engineering is, is how general it is, meaning it is so vast and wide in its scope that you can actually cull out your specific interests out of the vast variety of things that mechanical engineering covers. So to give you an example, in our department we have people who look at how heart valve function to people like myself who are looking at how we can cool power electronic uh, chips. And that's quite an array of things that you can tackle. The novelty and the potential to innovate and to have a real tangible impact in people's lives is what mechanical engineering is all about and is what you know, gets me out of bed every morning. And a lot of people work on a whole range of different problems, so it's quite an exciting place to be.